Hi, my name is Joe Sitzer, news reporter of the 2012 World Boiler Room Games. And with me today, I have a special guest, Ms. Anne Lisa Gavinas, the Director of Culture for the 2012 World Boiler Room Games. <laughs> so, Ms. Anne Lisa Gavinas, what, is, what exactly does the Director of Culture do for the 2012 World Boiler Room Games? Well, what the Director of Culture does is I sit on the Board of Directors for the Alberta Winter Games. So I sit with all the sports people, facilities, accommodations. And what I do is have a subcommittee under me with visual arts, literary arts, performing arts, and cultural promotions. And we just enhance all the sporting activity going on during the weekend of the Games. Okay. So uh, why does the 2012 Alberta Games have a Director of Culture? The, with the culture, the opportunity we have throughout the weekend of the games is to really enhance the sporting activities. So what our intent is during the weekend of the games is to create a cultural festival around the games. So the intent has always been, uh, through the government, that it is a sport and cultural event, actually. Okay. So uh, uh, what kind of cultural events happen during and leading up to the 2012 Open the Games? Well, already we've had uh, the game's uh, song launch where we commissioned an artist to perform the game's song. And leading up to the games, we have uh, an in-school curriculum-based program called Our Dream Sport or Your Dream Sport, um, encouraging youth to submit visual uh, arts pieces, poetry, as well as the ET Edmonton Transit System uh, Poetry Contest, which we just completed as well. And during the weekend of the games, uh, most of the events will be taking place at the Tri-Leisure Centre, and we're going to have a full main stage of performing arts there. Literary arts throughout the libraries, a uh, lot of visual artists participating as well. So lots and lots of activity where businesses will be presenting musicians and really making it a fun festival event throughout the weekend. Okay. And what were the results like in that Edmonton and Area ETS Bus and Reading Poetry Contest? Very, very good. and she was working in the schools with the students to help them create their poetry and so now the pieces will be selected and it's a really great opportunity for those students to have their, their uh, work shown throughout uh, leading up to the games and throughout the games on the buses. Okay, and why did you become associated with the cultural background? Of the Winter Games? Yes. <laughs> I became associated, I was actually asked to participate way back when, when we were bidding for the games, and I was involved in writing the cultural component of that, or kind of the plans that we would present for the, the Winter Games, and then was asked to stay on, and I did so gladly as Director of Culture. Okay. And what skill set is required to become the Director of Culture for, the, for an event this big? That's a good question. Uh, the skill set that's required, um, I have a, a lot of experience in the performing arts. used to run Horizon Stage many years ago. I've been broadening into the visual arts. I think to succeed in this position, because we have so many committee chairs that we work with, you just have to be a good organizer. Patient is good. Uh, really able to multitask. We have, uh, you know, uh, hundreds of events going on during the games. And just really love um, the performing arts, the visual arts, and literary arts. That's the most important thing. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for the interview. You're welcome. And we look forward to seeing you at the 2012 Alberta Games.